Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs, and by special request, today we're going to take a quick look at how to use photo masks. So what is a photo mask? A photo mask, or a clipping mask, use the contents of a layer to conceal or reveal part of the layer above that. So what exactly does that mean? Well, let's take a look at what a photo mask actually looks like. Here is a photo mask from one of my um, commercial use products, uh, garden masks. And you can see it's mostly black. There are a few areas of uh, lighter gray here. I don't have any white in this one right now, but you might see some masks that have a little bit of white design in them as well. So something like this is a good example of what a, a photo mask is. And what we'd like to do is have this photograph take on the shape of that mask. This photograph is my newest granddaughter, Ella. She's only seven days old here. And I thought it was a beautiful photograph taken by the professional photographer, Angela Chandler, who is out of the San Francisco Bay Area. And um, I just thought it was a beautiful picture and one I wanted to work with. So what I want to do is clip this photograph to this mask. And it's really a very, very simple um, process. We just need to uh, clip it by one of two methods. Let's make that photo active and we can come up to layer and I'm sorry it's off my screen a little bit. Let's see if I can get that down a little bit. We can come up here to layer, create clipping mask, or we can hold down the alt key on our keyboard and hover our mouse in between those two layers, in between the photo and the garden mask, and you see the down pointing arrow with the little white square. Once you see that, if you click with your mouse and then let go of the Alt key, you will see that the photograph has taken on the shape of that mask, and it's just really lovely. For this particular layout, we wouldn't have to do anything else. There are a few other things that you can do with uh, masks, though. Let me just go through a couple of them. What if this mask didn't fit this photograph? Well, we could make the mask a little bit bigger. We could make it a little bit smaller. We could rotate it if we wanted it, wanted to do that. You can also add to masks as you like with uh, black. So say we, or any color really, Let's go ahead and do that with white. Let's add some white stars to this mask. So I'm going to make the mask active. Make sure I have white selected and I already have a star brush selected here. You can see that. And let's just go ahead and add a few little white stars there. And you can see them right here on the mask. Turn my photograph on. Now you can see that the photo is in the normal blend mode and it's taking on the shape of the mask, but it's not letting you see any of the transparent areas or any areas that are other, anything, any color other than black. So when you have a mask that has different transparencies or some white in it, what you can do is make your photo active and change it to screen. And now we can see those stars really pretty. So you can add to, you can subtract a mask, you can change it around to suit your needs. You can also um, combine masks, say you have two that you like and you've already used this one. It's pretty obvious because of the music on it. You could combine two masks, just put one on top of the other. Or you could just come in here and let's just go ahead and do that. Change the foreground color to black and I'm going to grab a... Um, Let's see what kind of brush I want. Let's scoot that down out of my way here. You know what, my, there we go. It's just not over far enough. All right, so let's just grab, I'll say this 200. I'm gonna change the softness all the way down to zero. And I might maybe change the opacity of this a little bit. So let's turn the photo off turn the mask on and I want to get rid of that. Actually, I'm going to change that to white. No, let's leave it black. I'll go ahead and get rid of that, some of that music. 
So you can get rid of all of it or a little bit of it, whatever you want to make it look different from how you used it before. And now it's to me not as pretty because I've just kind of blobbed it out there, but you get the idea. You can add to, subtract, however you want to make the mask your own. And that's really how simple it is. They are a lot of fun to use. They can make a photograph and a background paper and a mask just turn into a beautiful layout without a lot of work. And I like that idea. So experiment, have fun, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. See you next week.